Welcome everyone to episode 30 of the United States series. And it looks like we're going to get into some type of military altercation with Belarus. Um, they continue to try to build a nuclear arsenal. And we don't want that, especially being on the border with a number of NATO countries. And the fact that they're aligned with Russia, we really don't want that at all. So we're going to start bringing we're going to start bringing more military equipment over to uh, our base in Ukraine. So we uh, went to the UN, we asked for a vote for military intervention, and they're more than likely going to say yes, and the weird part about that is Russia is actually going to agree to it as well. So we want to get all of this equipment over ahead of time. So as soon as the vote goes through, like countries automatically just start um, declaring war on Belarus. So our strategy with dealing with Belarus is we want to hit them quick and heavy right away because if it gets drawn out or we go slightly off script, then Russia is going to get involved and we don't want that because that's going to kind of mess up our plans. And we want to see how many commandos. Alright, so we have 204 there. 779 there. So... Send them there. The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. Alright, we also tried to assassinate their leader, and that didn't work either. So let's get some more commandos over there. Now, if I do this right, I'm not going to even need the commandos, but I'm bringing them over as a uh, secondary option. The decree takes effect as of today. Alright, so now I have to deal with these protests.
Alright, so the process have been dealt with. Journalist has been freed. Yeah, we're going to disperse the demonstration. The rebels have stopped fighting. Our actions on the ground have definitely made an impression on our opponents. And our soldiers were attacked and have legit. We have subdued the rebel. Alright. Okay, so twelve protesters were injured. All right, we're not going to try to take out Brazil's leader. Um, have enough to deal with right now. And let's take a look at our fighters because that's going to be the main. That's going to be the main thing we use to um, destroy. Belarus's um, military capability. We're not going to completely cripple their military, but we're going to put a pretty significant uh, let's see. We're going to do pretty significant damage to their military, and um, it's going to be expensive for them. The bill has been voted on, and the law has been passed. So let's look at their deficit. It's at 1.83, and they have 26,000. Yeah, 26,000 troops. Good morning. I didn't come empty handed. Let's see. So they want us to purchase. No, we're not interested in that. That would be a pity. Our countries are on friendly terms, and we have everything to gain from staying that way. So I think we should be able to find some compensation, one way or another, in exchange for your discretion. Alright, so we did that so we can have them as an ally. And they accept. Let's see the potential for a military base. Yep, they accept. Sure. Do you think it's our country is all right so we just gained another ally and that's going to be potential for fighting against cuba if decide to do so before the end of this series All right, so our base is, or I'm sorry, our research center is complete in Guam. So let's look at unemployment. That's going to help our unemployment rate. Let's look at our growth. It's a little over 4%.
Okay, a surplus of 1.3 trillion. All right, so. All right, let's pay off Japan. Let's wait a little bit before we, uh, before we start paying down our own debt. I want to see what happens with this war first. And... Now, I haven't had a chance to use uh, this anti-aircraft uh, missile system in the new 2022 version. Um, there is a bug with this. It, start, it keeps firing after the, uh, the war is over, and... In my model, I had to basically disassemble this to get it to stop firing. Alright, so we'll go ahead and take out their chief of staff. Alright, and now... We're going to launch a cyber attack against their military and if this is timed just right it'll kick in right after uh, right after the vote to um, implement military intervention and we'll go in ahead and hit a Massive cyber attack also. Duly noted, copy that. Duly noted, copy that. Alright, so let's go ahead and... We are going to attack this country. Do Alright, so we're gonna put... We are going to attack this country. We're gonna put cruisers over there. We rocked it. Alright, so as soon as that vote goes through, we're going to heavily bomb this base here. And the reason why we're doing that instead of the uh, air bases is because there's a lot of missile launchers right in the, this base here, which poses a major threat to us. And then they uh, wind up sending a couple squadrons over to this base and take it over if I um, don't prevent them from getting that far. Actually, I'm kind of slipping here too. So I want to anticipate What's about to happen? So 
so I'm gonna kind of create a uh, a shield of missile launchers. So we're going to create a wall of that, and... Gonna put... Couple anti-aircraft, um... Missile launchers in different areas. So this should Strike. help us. Our malware has infected the enemy's. This should help us be able to defend um, Ukraine a little bit better. It hit hard. Right there. All right, so let's look at the paper. So let's see when this. Okay, so it should be the next day. Good morning. All right, so Trinidad wants to sell us steel. They don't even produce enough, so we're gonna cancel that. Do you think it's reasonable? Right, let's see about a military alliance. Alright, well, it was worth a try. No thanks. So, this is all about to go down pretty soon. Okay, so it looks like, like I said, the only one who's voting against, obviously, is Belarus. But everyone, except for... Gonna hit pro.
So even China is voting with us. Alright, so here it is. The Marshall Islands declares war. Ukraine does. So that's what draws us into this. So we're going to go ahead and put some helicopters over here. So what was that first strike? We took out 3,900. So we're going to take all of these tanks out. So we're almost, um, I think maybe two or three more strikes. We pretty much took out a large number of their military already. And we're fighting along with Ukraine. And we're going to just keep pounding them until uh, they surrender. I'm not going to accept the first time they surrender. Our that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying. I right, will go ahead and try that. Alright, so more of their forces are coming through here. Okay, so let's see how many have we destroyed. 22,000. So we're doing... Doing like we thought we would. And that base has been completely destroyed. I mean, look at all this equipment. Alright, so they want a peace treaty, we're going to refuse. I'm going to take out more of their military. Now, I got distracted. I wanted to do a cyber attack on Russia's election, and uh, I completely forgot about it.
We have taken a slight advantage of Our governmental cell informs me All right. And we're going to refuse to respond to that. So how well is Ukraine doing? Alright, so they're winning against them also. So we took out, we lost only 66 troops. All right, who's hitting us? All right, so... Yeah, I lost, uh... Looks like I lost all my drones. The balance of power is rather in our favor. Alright, let's send, uh... Let's send the commandos there. Undeniably! Alright, we're gonna send our tanks right to the border. As I predicted, the systematic analysis of the habits of small groups has allowed us to strike a serious blow at the terrorists. Okay, we'll go through with that. So I'm wondering um, how much longer are they going to go without trying to surrender again? Okay, let's see how we can get this to play out. Do a military cyber attack again. All right, there we go. Let's go there. The battle in the current state of things is off to a battle. Alright, let's see if we can... Alright, so we took some losses there. Definitely more than what I Duly anticipated. Noted. Duly noted.
We rocked it. Let's go there. Okay, let's see how many we lost. It's up to 841, but we took out 25,000 of their troops altogether. Um... They have about 9,000 left. Alright, so let's send those tanks in there. And let's give them some support with the helicopters. Let's go after their capital. Now, if they try to surrender before we actually get to the capital, then I'll accept. But the big thing is I don't want Russia getting involved. Alright, let's see. Can we take their military base? Yep, we took them. Oh, we lost all of them. Strike! Our malware has infected... It hit hard. Trans Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out a sabotage operation. A sort of Bulgarian opening, if you'll allow me the analogy, that according to my calculation... Our infiltrated agents had the chance to carry out... A Right, so we lost a thousand. So let's send a helicopter to destroy that tank unit. So they have reinforcements coming into the city. The city has fallen! So they don't have that many in the capital, so we should be able to take them.
So let's go ahead and go for the capital then. So we need a really big uh, attack. Let's see, where did I? All right. So hopefully we can take that out. All right, we did it. All right, let's get those troops to go in there and take the bunker. So, there's no response because of the, the cyber attack. Let's go and attack them. Alright, well, it's too little too late right now. We have just taken the country's capital. Alright, so that's been a success, but again, we took heavier losses than what I thought I was going to take. So we're going to have to then dismantle this. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. Alright, so we're going to see what happens now. So how many did Ukraine take out? Alright, so it's 2% negative growth. They lost one point two trillion. Do my troops this yep. That's actually a war crime too, but they're not gonna be prosecuted for it because we own the UN and pretty much NATO, so nothing's gonna happen to us. Our agents that have infiltrated this organization confirm their window of opportunity. It goes without saying that the operation is risky, but if successful, the short and long... I will go through with that. All right, so now that that's over... 
Let's pay down this debt. All right, so we're still going to bring in about one point seven trillion dollars. Eight, so that Good morning. War is over. I didn't come empty handed. In fact, I wanted to see you in order to submit this economic contract. As you will see, it is profitable for both our countries. All right, software industry. Yeah, I'm going to turn that down. Yeah, I'm going to turn it down. We can boost our own production and software. Sure. Let's go to conflicts. All right, so we lost 1,422. Belarus lost almost 30,000. So their economy is going to take a nosedive. Like, you already see the negative growth growing. Because they... Pretty much have no military and they lost a ton of equipment. All right, so I think I'm going to end this episode. Um, so it's already May. So there's going to be a few more episodes and I'm still figuring out the different features for the 2022 edition. And then once I'm comfortable with it, then I'll start the China series. So I'm giving myself a few more days to get used to it. Um, in the meantime, Please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, click the bell. Click the like. Um, Want to be notified of future videos. And I will see you soon.